why is it so hard to depict real human life on screen in an emotional way that resonates? And why does that that kind of work ended up end up getting pushed off into the independent world or not seen? I think that you're, you're talking about the Hollywood product. Yeah. I've been in those rooms where they're discussing scripts and I've gotten those... The notes. The notes, and, and we've all seen these movies, you know, that have basically been the mainstream product for the last 20 or 30 years. Yeah. And I think it's because somewhere along the line, movies were making so much money that they decided there was a way to guarantee they would make that amount of money by manipulating the material inside the movies. You know, in the golden age of Hollywood, the product was very controlled, but the studio executives, you know, the great movie moguls of the 30s and 40s, trusted their directors and their writers. John Ford was given tremendous artistic freedom within the studio system because but and you had to make hits and that would give you but but within the within that system nobody told John Ford to make you know Wyatt Earp more or less sympathetic in My Darling Clementine or to not make Grapes of Wrath so depressing or not make everyone die in How Green Was My Valley they it was John Ford but the the minutia of control that exists now did not exist then there's a reason why every movie you see sounds the same, why, why Doctor Strange has an emotional journey that is completely superfluous to the fun, in my opinion, of Doctor Strange. And this is just, these are the most extreme examples. And I, I like superhero movies, by the way, but I don't like the phony emotional content that's ladled in because it's, it's clearly comes from meetings and from script notes. It and doesn't it doesn't feel human. And it doesn't feel like anything. It yeah. feels like nonsense. It's preposterous. It's Doctor Strange. He's, he, he waves his arm and the whole world turns upside down and goes into slow motion. No one gives a shit about his emotional life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they just don't. Uh, so uh, I, I'm just stunned that this keeps happening, but I know what it is. It's, a, it's an attempt to meet certain points that they feel that the people who are paying for the movies feel will make the movie successful. That is not an organic or human way to approach character. It's, a, it's, a, it's, an, adver it's an advertising stunt. And it's, and it's shot through all these movies, not just the big adventure movies, but, all, but, but anything that's not controlled by a powerful personality like Michael Mann or Martin Scorsese or Steven Spielberg. There's a systematic executive committee generated content that goes into every movie with a big budget. And that's why they all have such uh, incredible emotional uh, insincerity shot through them.